guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Takea and I'm new to the YouTube world so I'd love for you to join my family and help me along the way. So I have Cassie here joining us today. She's... yeah. Anyway, in today's video we are... I'm going to do a what's in my diaper bag video. Um, I really like watching one of these and as a new mama myself, I found a lot of these tips really useful and helpful and just to help welcome my little one into the world and then knowing what to put in there and everything. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the diaper bag that I use. It is the backpack version. It is the Ruvalina, Ruvalino version, whatever that is. Um, However, that's so. I really like this because it's there's plenty of room, and I really prefer the backpack version rather than just the one handle or the one shoulder because I feel like it would hurt my just one side, and this way I feel like it's evened out. It also has this strap up here at the top like that, so you can like put the handles together and fasten it up. We like to use this when we go. Um, to the grocery store and then we can just fasten it to the little shopping cart part <clears throat> if I get tired of wearing it or whatever so those snaps are really nice. It also has um, these two side pockets right here. Um, so this one has these two, this little slit in it right here so you can like stick wipes in there or something and then just have them easily accessible to you to just pull out when needed or a Kleenex or something like that. And this other side has one as well. It's just a pocket and I do have a, it's just a sealed pocket. And I do have a couple of items in there that we'll go get into in a minute. And then it has this straight across zipper right here that just goes straight across. And it has this other zipper and then there's one right here that's kind of hidden. And then it's got two more zippers up here at the top. And I'll just go through what I have um, individually through each pocket. So we'll start in this small one right here in the front. And I don't remember keeping anything in here. Um, like I, um, so my baby is almost 11 months. He'll be 11 months on the 24th of this month. And so a lot of things on what I keep in here and stuff have changed and a lot of things have come out because he's not an infant anymore. So he doesn't need them as much so but I will go over what I did keep in here and some other things that I found helpful to keep in here for when you're just starting out um, but this one does have like a little clip so if you have like a wallet or keys and you're just going out on town really fast or whatever and you can just need to clip something to inside um, that's there and then in this next one so this is what the inside of this pocket looks like. It's got the two separate, these are insulated pockets, which is really nice because if you need to prep a bottle or something for on the go, you can just stick them in there and then they will just stay, um, they will just stay that temperature, which I feel like is really nice. So if you need to prep like a formula bottle or if you're a nursing mama or whatever. Um, in here I kept his little, he doesn't use this anymore, but it's a little teeter glove. And so you just, when he was little, little, you just put this on his little fist, his little hand. And then it had like this part up here is rubber. So it's just like a little teether thing for him when they're getting teeth when they're little. And then I think that's all I have in here. Or the receipt. Um, another thing that I kept in here too in this pocket that I don't have anymore is when I first got released from the hospital I would keep like my postpartum, um, my postpartum stuff in here because at the time I wasn't using a purse and I just used this so I just kept everything postpartum with me so if I was out and about I would just have it so and then I would keep like my nursing pads in here as well. Another thing that I don't have in here is um, nipple cream for if you're a nursing mama. He actually just weaned himself so I'm no longer nursing him right now which I'm super sad about because he's my first baby and it kind of just 
happened. He got a really bad sickness. He got a double ear infection and he kind of just weaned himself at 10 months. So I'm no longer nursing. So, and I'm super, super upset about it because I just wasn't ready. He was ready before I was and yeah. Anyway, so I am just a straight pumping now. I want, I'm going, he turns um, one in September, so I'm hoping to keep up my pumping supply until then. I don't know how well it's gonna go because I don't get very much these days. So that's that situation. Anyway, so I would keep like my nipple cream and stuff in here. Um, I would also keep like all my postpartum stuff, my breast pads in here when I first started nursing. Um, it's just so I wouldn't have any leaking and stuff like that, but I have taken that all out because I no longer need that. In this pocket, there's not really, this slider on pocket, there's not really anything in there. Um, I do know that um, I, we don't take this out very much anymore um, unless we're going like on a trip somewhere, like on a long car drive or if we're going to be doing errands all day. Um, if we're just going to one or two places, we don't really take it anymore just because he's old enough now that his bladder's not as small and stuff and he doesn't really have that many accidents and stuff. So um, it doesn't really get used as often now as it did when he was first born. But um, I would always keep my wallet and stuff in here because it goes super deep. Like you would think that it was a short pocket, but it goes clear to the bottom. So I would just always keep my wallet in this one and then, or like my keys and stuff just because it was super deep and it wasn't just sitting there up on top. In this side pocket over here, in this one, I don't have, I've never kept anything over in this one just because I never used any of the Kleenexes or stuff with the little um, slit in it like that. But over in this one, I do keep butt paste. Um, this is what he has recently started to get really bad um, rashes just because he did just get off an antibiotic with his ear infection and so and that caused him to have some really bad diarrhea. I know, poor thing. And so this is a really good way to get rid of that. Um, I prefer this over Desitin. It's got stronger um, zinc in it and so the percentage of the zinc is more effective I feel like than the Desitin. Um, so that's what I prefer over that. And then I just keep some hand sanitizer in here. Just because if you have to change them in your car or on the grass or something and you don't always have access to wash your hands, I always like to keep some of this on hand. Um, I do know the hand sanitizer is hard to come by right now. I did find this in the back to school section in my store that I do all my shopping at. So, because um, I know that's a requirement these days for kids to have some hand sanitizer. So I would check there. I don't normally buy this big of a bottle for the diaper bag, especially now where it's not getting used as much. But um, it well, this was the only size that they had. So I had to go with it. This next bigger pocket, not the one, top one, but the next one, this is where I keep his diapers. Um, he's in size four diapers right now. And I use the Kirkland brand, um, which is Costco. Um, they're very comparable to Huggies. I've tried Pampers and I've tried Loves and um, the Loves he didn't like and the Pampers I didn't, I didn't like how they fit him, but I use these in Huggies the most because they're very comparable brands and he's never leaked out of them since he was a newborn and so he can go all night in these ones and not have to have a diaper change in the middle of it unless he like poops or something but if he just pees or whatever then he doesn't need to get a change or anything so he can go all night so these are fantastic they are very well um, they're very thick and they're very absorbent, so I, I like these ones. And 
and I just keep them. And then on the inside of this pocket, there's just like this another mesh zipper right here. And I just like to keep them in there. That way they're just out of the way and I just zip it up. Also in this pocket right here, there's another, there's more holders right here more individual holders. I never use those. I don't know. I'd probably use this diaper bag once we had another baby too, just because there's so much space in here. And I feel like I could fit two babies stuff in here comfortably. So I will probably get quite a bit of use out of this one. Um, in here, I also keep his nursing cover, which I got the one that, um, it can also be used as, um, A car seat cover so um, so you can also put it over their infant car seat carrier and then just carry it around that way um, and then you can just use it as a nursing cover as well like I said I'm probably getting ready to retire this to my storage and save it for the next baby just because he is no longer nursing and when he was nursing, he didn't really like his head covered up anyway. I know that there's a big stipulation right now about um, this breastfeeding and making it normalized and stuff, but I just liked to carry one on me just because where I was new to the whole thing, I didn't know how I would personally feel about it, so I always liked to have it have a cover. And then if we were around like my husband's friends or whatever, I wasn't just going to nerfs out in the open especially if they don't have kids and not married and don't know about the whole thing so I was just having this for kind of my own protection and where it was a car seat cover I always had it on me as well so then in this next pocket this is just where I keep um, his change of clothes and his wipes and everything. So this diaper bag actually came with this little mat. It came with this. So if you go into the store or a restaurant or need to change them in your car or whatever, you can just lay this down and then it just wipes right off. And then I've thrown mine in the wash a couple of times. I don't know if you're supposed to, but he did have quite a few blowouts on it before, so, um, and I just couldn't get him off with just the Clorox wipes and stuff, so I needed to actually throw it in the wash. It doesn't have any washing instructions on there, but, and then I just keep this thing of wipes. I really like this rather than having a regular big package of wipes, just because this is more sealed I feel like and they don't stick out like I know sometimes the regular package of wipes you pull them out and they'll just keep pulling out and then you'll have to shove them back in there to get the lid to close um I feel like this doesn't do that I got this as a gift for my baby shower so I can't actually confirm um how much this is it did come with a separate pack of diapers and wipes as well, so, um, and then at the top it just opens up, and then you can just fill your wipes up in there, and then it's just an easy seal. And the packaging is super cute as well. I feel like this is very gender neutral. That's why I picked the gray color of my backpack as well, just because I feel like it's very gender neutral. We do have a little boy right now, so... Um, I feel like it could go with either boy or girl. This was on my um, baby registry as well, so this was also a gift for my baby shower. So, um, but it was um, Amazon's high choice or best pick or whatever they listed on there. Um, so, and then I do have a couple change of outfits in here for him. He can still fit, even though he's... Um, almost 11 months old he can still fit in quite a different range of clothes like he has some pair of 12 month jammies right now that are almost too tight and then he has some pair of three six month jammies that are still too big on him so um he can fit pretty much in any range of clothes right now um i do have two pairs of different outfits in here for him I do have this little onesie outfit. It's kind of like a little romper, so it just buttons all the way down and then in between the legs. And then it's got a little car on it or fire truck. Yeah, a 
little flyer truck. And then I do have um, a little bit of a warmer outfit in here. It is um, beginning to change um, weather here. It doesn't it hasn't been getting super hot lately, so it's finally starting to cool down. So I always try to keep, especially in the summer, a warmer outfit for them and then a colder one. And then as the seasons change, I just swap out outfits and whatever. But I always try and keep two in there just because you never know, um, especially being his age, what could happen. So in this, the second outfit I have is just this little one with airplanes on it. It's just a little onesie. And then it does have buttons up here to help seal the neck better. And then this is um, a 6 to 12 month onesie. So I figure I'll just leave that one in there for a while and then he can just grow into it. And then I do have a pair of pants. These are 9 month pair. These are 9 month pants. These are a Carter brand. Um, to go with that little airplane outfit and then a pair of socks so um just like i said i like to keep at least two pair of outfits in there at all time um even though he doesn't we don't use it as much as we have i still like to keep the two pairs in there just in case we do have like the long trips or whatever and then whatever happens if it happens to be cold when we leave for the trip and then warm up or whatever, he still has that other option as well. So um, that's pretty much all that's in my diaper bag right now. Oh, another thing too is when he was a newborn, um, I also liked to keep like the puppy training pads in there because if he were to have a really big blowout, I'd lay that down and then do all my cleanup on the pad and then just throw it away with his diaper and wipes and stuff and then it would be an easy cleanup. So, um, but I would only keep those in his diaper bag. I never used those uh, here at the house because I always had something else um, here that I would use for that. But So that was always something that I kept just for when he was an infant. But now that we go out, he doesn't use it as much anymore. But. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Um, I hope you liked this video. Thank you for tuning in. And if you liked what you see, you know what to do. Go ahead and leave a comment down below and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks.